Shabbat Shalom, everyone, and welcome to today's prayer, praise, worship, and scripture with Ayaba Jean. Y'all deserves love, stop, do not complain. Y'all deserves thanks, stop, do not complain. Y'all deserves praise, stop, do not complain. Yah deserves worship, stop, do not complain. Yah is worthy, stop, do not complain. Yah deserves love, stop, do not complain. Yah deserves thanks, stop, do not complain. Yah deserves praise, stop, do not complain. Yah deserves worship, stop, do not complain. Yah is worthy, stop, do not complain. Yah deserves love, stop, do not complain. Y'all deserves thanks, stop, do not complain. Y'all deserves praise, stop, do not complain. Y'all deserves worship, stop, do not complain. Y'all is worthy, stop, do not complain. Y'all deserves love, stop, do not complain. Y'all deserves thanks, stop, do not complain. Y'all deserves praise, stop, do not complain. Y'all deserves worship, stop, do not complain. Yah is worthy, stop, do not complain. Yah deserves love, stop, do not complain. Yah deserves thanks, stop, do not complain. Yah deserves praise, stop, do not complain. Yah deserves worship, stop, do not complain. Yah is worthy, stop, do not complain. Stop, do not complain. Stop, do not complain. Stop, do not complain. Thanks be to Yah. Thanks. Thanks be to Yah. Thanks be to Yah who gives us the victory through Yahusha Amashiach. Thanks be to Yah who gives us the victory through Yahusha Amashiach. Thanks be to Yah who gives us the victory through Yahusha Amashiach. Thanks. Thanks be to Yah. Thanks. Thanks be to Yah. Thanks be to Yah who gives us the victory through Yahusha Amashiach. Thanks be to Yah who gives us the victory through Yahusha Amashiach. Thanks be to Yah who gives us the victory through Yahusha Amashiach. Thanks. Thanks be to Yah. Thanks. Thanks be to Yah. Thanks be to Yah who gives us the victory through Yahusha Hamashiach. Thanks be to Yah who gives us the victory through Yahusha Hamashiach. Thanks be to Yah who gives us the victory through Yahusha Hamashiach. Through Yahusha Hamashiach. Through Yahusha Hamashiach. Thanks. Thanks be to Yah. I receive joy because of Yah. Praise His name, hallelujah. I receive peace because of Yah. Praise His name, hallelujah. 
I am encouraged because of Yah. Praise his name, hallelujah. I am strong because of Yah. Praise his name, hallelujah. Deliver from sin because of Yah. No turning back, hallelujah. I once was blind, but now I see. I have new life, Yah said me free bow down and worship because of Yah in his presence hallelujah high esteem belongs to Yah Praise his name, hallelujah. I receive joy because of Yah. Praise his name, hallelujah. I receive peace because of Yah. Praise His name, hallelujah. I am encouraged because of Yah. Praise His name, hallelujah. I am strong because of Yah. Praise His name, hallelujah. Deliver from sin because of Yah. No turning back, hallelujah. I once was blind, but now I see. I have new life, Yah set me free. Bow down in worship because of Yah. In His presence, hallelujah. High esteem belongs to Yah. Praise His name, hallelujah. 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 Let us pray. Abba Yah, in the mighty name of Yahusha, 
We thank you and praise you, Abba Yah, for this another day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Abba Yah, we thank you for another opportunity to spend time in your presence, for in your presence there is fullness of joy. Abba Yah, we thank you for the opportunity to enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. We are thankful unto you and we bless your name for you are good. Your mercies are everlasting and your truth endures to all generations. Abba Yah, we worship you at your footstool. How excellent is your name in all the earth. Abba Yah, we recognize you as King of Kings. We recognize you as the great I am. We recognize you as the Allah and the Taf, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the author and the finisher of our belief. Abba Yah, we thank you for another Shabbat. We thank you for another day of rest. We thank you for another day of relaxation. We thank you for another day that we can rejuvenate um, our minds, our bodies, our spirits, Abba Yah. We thank you for another opportunity to just spend time in your presence, spend time in the scripture, spend time in prayer, in praise, in worship, and to give you the highest esteem and to hold you in high esteem today. We give you the highest praise. We give you the highest praise. We give you the highest praise that is due unto your name. Hallelujah. 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 Abba Yah, we humble ourselves before you, asking you to forgive us for anything that we have said, that we have done, or that we have thought that is a sin against you and your commandments. Abba Yah, forgive us for any level of idolatry or adultery or whoredom of the heart that we have committed against you. Forgive us for putting any body, any person, any relationship, any activity, anything before you. Abba Yah, we thank you for your forgiveness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your brand new mercies that are new every single morning. Hallelujah. Abba Yah, we don't take that lightly or loosely, Abba Yah. We thank you. We praise you, Abba Yah. We count this as a privilege to be able to worship you today. Hallelujah. 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 We lift up set apart hands unto you, O Yah, as we offer up ourselves as living offerings set apart and acceptable unto you, which is our reasonable service. We focus on you. We concentrate on you. We give you our undivided attention on today. We fix our eyes upon you, O Yah. Hallelujah. 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 We worship you. Hallelujah. We worship you, Abba Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We fill this place with prayer, with praise, with worship to you, Abba Yah. For it says in your word that you live and you dwell in, you inhabit the praises of your people. So Abba Yah, we make a place for you to pitch your tent. We make a place for you to dwell here with us in our praise and our worship to you. Abba Yah, we make a place for you to sit down and enthrone yourself in our praise and our worship to you. Abba Yah, we will bless you at all times, and your praise shall continually be in our mouths. Abba Yah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship you, Abba Yah, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Abba Yah, for being our buckler, for being our shield, for being our shade, for being our fortress, for being our strong tower. You are our high tower. You are our strength. The righteous run into you and are safe. Hallelujah. We thank you for being the lifter up of our heads. We thank you for being the lover of our souls. We thank you for being the bishop of our souls. Hallelujah. We thank you for being our mind regulator. Thank you for being our heart fixer. Thank you for being our problem solver. Thank you for being our way sure. Hallelujah. 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 Abba Yah, we thank you for giving us clarity of vision. We thank you for giving us clarity of focus on today. Hallelujah. We thank you for making the, the crooked places straight in our lives on today. Hallelujah. We thank you for breaking up 
the fallow ground in our lives. We thank you for opening up our spiritual eyes in area of areas of our lives where we have been spiritually blinded. We thank you, Abba Yah, for opening up our spiritual ears in areas of our lives where we have been spiritually deaf, Abba Yah. We thank you for delivering us out of darkness and bringing us out of darkness into your mar marvelous light. We thank you for bringing us out of the muck and the mire of sin, Abba Yah. Hallelujah. We're so grateful to you, Abba Yah. Hallelujah. We thank you and praise you, Abba Yah, for delivering us from any indoctrination, from programming, from brainwashing, from wrong teaching, Abba Yah, from doctrines of devils, Abba Yah. We thank you for delivering us from all of that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Abba Yah for a fresh refilling of your anointing. We thank you for a fresh refilling of your oil. We thank you for a fresh refilling of your Ruach HaKadosh, your set apart spirit. Hallelujah. We thank you, Abba Yah, that we are like, that you have made us like that tree that is planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in its season with leaves that do not wither and everything that we do shall prosper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Abba Yah. We thank you and praise you, Abba Yah. We thank you, Abba Yah, that we know that we don't have to go through this life alone. We thank you, Abba Yah, that in you we live and we move and we have our being. Abba Yah, we thank you that you will never leave us nor forsake us, Abba Yah. We thank you for that. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you. We honor you. We adore you. We appreciate you. There is none like you. There is none before you, Abba Yah. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you. We praise you, Abba Yah. And we thank you for accepting our praise and our worship to you as it rises as vapors around your throne. We thank you for it being a sweet smelling savor to your nostrils and a sweet, sweet sound to your ear. In Yahusha's mighty name, we pray all of these things. So be it. Hallelujah. 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 Shabbat Shalom once again to each and every one of you. Uh, thank you for joining me and um, taking the time out to watch this video today. For those of you who are watching this video during the time of its premiere, I look forward to um, fellowshipping with each and every one of you in the live chat. So our scripture reading is Numbers chapter 16 and it reads as follows. Now Korach, the son of Yitshar, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, and Dathan, and Aviram, the sons of Eliav, and An, the son of Peleth, sons of Reuben, took men. And they rose up before Moshe with certain of the children of Yasharel, two hundred and fifty princes of the assembly, famous in the assembly, men of renown. And they gathered themselves together against Moshe and against Aharon, and said unto them, Ye take too much upon you, seeing all the assembly are holy, every one of them, and Yahuwah is among them. Wherefore then lift ye up yourselves above the assembly of Yahuwah? And when Moshe heard it, he fell upon his face. And he spoke unto Korach and unto all his company, saying, Even tomorrow Yahuwah will show who are his and who is holy, and will cause him to come near unto him. Even him whom he has chosen will he cause to come near unto him. This do take you censers, Korach, and all his company, and put fire therein, and put incense in them before Yahuwah tomorrow. And it shall be that the man whom Yahuwah chooses, he shall be holy. Ye take too much upon you, ye sons of Levi. 
And Moshe said unto Korach, Hear, I pray you, ye sons of Levi, does it seem but a small thing unto you that the Elohai of Yasharel has separated you from the assembly of Yasharel to bring you near to himself to do the service of the tabernacle of Yahuwah and to stand before the assembly to minister unto them? And he has brought you near to him and all your brethren, the sons of Levi, with you, and seek ye the priesthood also? For which cause both you and all your company are gathered together against Yahuwah? And what is a horon that ye murmur against him? And Moshe said, sent to call Dathan and Aviram, the sons of Eliav, which said, We will not come up. Is it a small thing that you have brought us up out of a land that flows with milk and honey to kill us in the wilderness, except you make yourself altogether a prince over us? Moreover, you have not brought us into a land that flows with milk and honey or given us inheritance of fields and vineyards. Will you put out the eyes of these men? We will not come up. And Moshe was very wroth and said unto El Yahuwah, Respect not you their offering. I have not taken one ass from them, neither have I hurt one of them. And Moshe said unto Korak, Be you and all your company before you, and they and a Horon tomorrow, and take every man his censer, and put incense in them, and bring ye before Yahuwah every man his censer, two hundred and fifty censers, you also, and a horon, each of you his censer. And they took every man his censer, and put fire in them, and laid incense thereon, and stood in the door of the tabernacle of the assembly with Moshe and a horon. And Korach gathered all the assembly against them unto the door of the tabernacle of the assembly, and the glory of Yahuwah appeared unto all the assembly. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe and unto El Ahoron, saying, Separate yourselves from among this assembly, that I may consume them in a moment. And they fell upon their faces and said, O El, the Elohim of the Ruachot of all flesh, shall one man sin? And will you be wroth with all the assembly? And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the assembly, saying, Get you up from about the tabernacle of Korach, Dathan and Aviram. And Moshe rose up and went unto Dathan and Aviram, and the elders of Yasharel followed him. And he spoke unto the assembly, saying, Depart, I pray you, from the tents of these wicked men, and touch nothing of theirs, lest ye be consumed in all their sins. So they got up from the tabernacle of Korach, Dathan, and Aviram on every side, and Dathan and Aviram came out and stood in the door of their tents, and their women, and their sons, and their little children. And Moshe said, Hereby ye shall know that Yahuwah has sent me to do all these works, for I have not done them of my own mind. If these men die the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then Yahuwah has not sent me. But if Yahuwah make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth and swallow them up with all that appertain unto them, and they go down quick into the pit, then ye shall understand that these men have provoked 
Yahuwah. And it came to pass, as he had made an end of speaking all these words, that the ground clave asunder that was under them, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up, and their houses, and all the men that appertained unto Korah, and all their goods. They, and all that appertained to them, went down alive un into the pit, and the earth closed upon them, and they perished from among the assembly. And all Yasharel that were round about them fled at the cry of them, for they said, Lest the earth swallow us up also. And there came out a fire from Yahuwah and consumed the 250 men that offered incense. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe, saying, Speak unto El Azar, the son of Ahoron the priest, that he take up the censers out of the burning and scatter you the fire yonder, for they are hallowed. The censers of these sinners against their own souls, let them make them broad plates for a covering of the altar, for they offered them before Yahuwah, therefore they are hallowed, and they shall be a sign unto the children of Yasharel. And Eleazar the priest took the brazen censers, wherewith they were burnt, had offered, and they were made broad plates for a covering of the altar to be a memorial unto the children of Yasharel, that no stranger which is not of the seed of Ahoron come near to offer incense before Yahuwah, that he be not as Korak and as his company, as Yahuwah said to him by the hand of Moshe. But on the morrow, all the assembly of the children of Yasharel murmured against Moshe and against Aharon, saying, Ye have killed the people of Yahuwah. And it came to pass, when the assembly was gathered against Moshe and against Aharon, that they looked toward the tabernacle of the assembly, and behold, the cloud covered it, and the glory of Yahuwah appeared. And Moshe and Aharon came before the tabernacle of the assembly, and Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Get you up from among this assembly, that I may consume them in, as in a moment. And they fell upon their faces. And Moshe said unto El Aharon, Take a censer, and put fire therein from off the altar, and put on incense, and go quickly unto the assembly, and make an atonement for them, for their wrath is for their wrath is gone out from Yahuwah, the plague is begun. And Ahoron took as Moshe commanded, and ran into the midst of the assembly, and behold, the plague was begun among the people, and he put on incense and made atonement for the people, and he stood between the dead and the living, and the plague was stayed. Now they that died in the plague were fourteen thousand and seven hundred, beside them that died about the matter of Korak, and a Horon returned unto Moshe, unto the door of the tabernacle of the assembly, and the plague was stayed. Separate yourself. Here in this passage of scripture, you had, you know, Korak and uh, Dathan and Aviram and some princes of the assembly it was 250 princes of the assembly. They were famous amongst the assembly, men of renown. And basically, they were challenging uh, Moshe and uh, 
a Haron, uh, and their position, <laughs> okay, that they were given by Yahuwah, okay, they weren't elected by men, they were appointed by Yahuwah to function the way that they were function functioning, and these men basically, you know, came up and challenged them and said, is it, you know, isn't all of us, you know, in the assembly of Yasharel, aren't all of us set apart? Aren't all of us, you know, holy? You know, how is it that you put yourselves higher than everybody else that's in the assembly? <laughs> as soon as they, you know, came with their remarks and their statements and what they said, Moses fell, you know, to the ground because Moses, he knew, Moshe, he knew, he knew, he understood Yahuwah. He understood what he hated. <laughs> he knew that he hated murmuring and complaining and when they came and was complaining and you know about their status and their position and how they were functioning you know Moshe didn't look at it like he was complaining against them personally he viewed it that they were complaining against Yahuwah because they were appointed by Yahuwah not by men and from you know they started you know saying you know you brought us out from a land that flowed you know with milk and honey and you brought us into the wilderness and you have not brought us into a land that flows with milk and honey you know so basically you know they they were told, you know, separate yourself from among them. Yahuwah, you know, was angry. He was like, separate yourself from among them so that I can consume them in this moment. <laughs> okay. But he was told, you know, he prayed. You know, he prayed and, and he got instruction from Yahuwah and he told them, he said, give them censors give them censors that they can bring before yahuwah and they were like nope we're not going to do it we are not going to do it we're not going to come up we're not going to come up but then he told them what was going to happen tomorrow the next day okay and he said look yahuwah is going to you know show everyone who's holy you know, who's set apart and who's not. He's going to make the distinction. He's going to make the distinction. And so, you know, the next day, it happened. The next day, it happened. When the, when the next day came, you know, the earth opened up. And when uh, those men were standing in the doorway of their tents where they lived, with their wives and their children, everything that they had was swallowed up in the earth. Not just them, not just the men, but their, but their wives and their children and everything that was connected to them was swallowed up in the earth. The earth literally opened up its mouth and swallowed them up and everything that was connected to them because of the fact that they were coming against Moshe and Aharon and that was a sin against Yahuwah. And do you, you know, the very next day, you know, the people in the assembly, the children of Yasharel, okay, they murmured once again and complained against 
Moshe and against Aharon and said, Yahuwah, you know, basically, you you know, you have killed the people of Yasharel. And Yahuwah, once again, brought about judgment and the plague started. And Moshe said, quickly get the censers, put them with fire and go and run amongst the assembly because the the plague had begun because they sinned against Yahuwah. It wasn't enough that he that they saw 250 princes, their wives and their children be swallowed up and everything that was connected to them get swallowed up. Okay. <laughs> In the assembly. They weren't grateful that they survived that because there was a separation. But then they went right back and did the same thing. And they said over 14,000 people died in that plague. He stood between the living and the dead with that censer. And he said, let this be a sign to the people of Yasharel that they will remember and it will be a memorial of what happened with Korak and all of the people that gathered together with him against Moshe and Aharon so that they would not do it again, that they would not murmur anymore. Does that sound familiar? The same thing happens today. The people of the Most High Yah are the same way. They look at somebody, they look at somebody that, you know, may be doing well, that uh, may be, you know, moving up in life, so to speak. And, you know, and how many of you have heard this? Who do they think they are? They think they're cute. You know, they think they're this, they think they're that. You know, how did they get that position? What did they do to get that? What did they do to deserve that? You're not better than me. You're, he, he's not better than her. She's not better than him. And you, we've heard that. I know I've heard that. I've heard that amongst the people of Yah. We've got to be so very, very careful who we speak out against. <laughs> okay. We've got to make sure that we separate ourselves from people who participate in that type of behavior and who have that type of mentality, you know, because we don't want the judgment of the Most High Yah to manifest itself in our lives. We got to learn to separate ourselves from that behavior from that mindset, from those type of people. Now you might be saying, well, you know, if somebody's complaining about somebody else or somebody's, you know, being ungrateful or somebody's talking bad about somebody else, you know, nothing like that's going to happen today. But guess what? There is judgment happening happening amongst the people of the Most High Yah. Just look around. Just look at us as a people as a people we have we murmur and we gripe and we complain against one another and there is judgment that is happening amongst the people of the most high yah it's unfortunate that we haven't gotten the message there are people amongst us who are sick who have infirmities, you know, who have diseases, you know, there are, are many of us who are being killed, who are being taken out. And I believe that some, uh, some of that is the judgment of the Most High Yah. Now, you may not look at it like that, but judgment comes in many ways in many forms. 
So we've got to be so very, very careful about what we say about other people. We've got to learn to separate ourselves from those type of people. We've got to separate ourselves from people who behave that way, who, who are constantly murmuring and griping and complaining about everything or about other people all the time, who are always talking about what other people have and that whether they think that they should be in their position and they should have what they have. That's all this that this was, that they wanted to be able to be in the same position that these men had. But with those, with that position came great responsibility. You know, the, the Levites had a great responsibility to minister to you know, in the tabernacle, you know, unto Yahuwah and unto the people of Yahuwah. That wasn't, the priesthood wasn't for everybody. Okay. And so they were set apart for a specific purpose. And so we've got to remember that each and every one of us are set apart to do certain things within the body of Yahushua HaMashiach. And so what I have been set apart to do in Yah, it may not be the same thing that somebody else has been set apart to do. And somebody else, you know, in the body of the Mashiach, may be called to do something that looks like, you know, they're always being seen and um, it looks like they're, you know, they're gaining a lot of attention and a lot of notoriety or what have you. And you may be looking at them and going, I want their position. I want what they have. But you don't understand the responsibility that comes with what they have been set apart to do. OK, so we have to remember to learn how to, you know, stay in our lane. You know, these people had have a had a function. Moshe and a and a and Aaron, they had a function. The Levites had a function. They had a purpose. They had a calling on their lives, but they had a huge responsibility. And those other men were not called to do what they were doing. And they, you know, griped and complained about it and didn't want to stay in their lane. <laughs> and they died for it. Then the other people sat down there and, and murmured and, and griped and complained and said, you know, you're killing, the, he's killing the people of Yahuwah. And then they died in the plague. So we've got to separate ourselves. Lest we are consumed with a level of judgment. And there are people amongst the people of Yah who have died. Because of, you know, a sin, the sin that they are committing or had committed against Yahuwah. So we have got to, you know, and, and maybe even some of the people in their lives were affected because of the sins that they were committing. Okay, so we have got to remember as the people of the Most High Yah, we have got to separate ourselves from murmuring, from griping, from complaining, from being envious of, of a position or a status or, or, you know, whatever somebody else may have, you know, or the place where they, uh, where the Most High may have uh, brought them to in their life or in their ministry or whatever. We've got to learn to humble ourselves and do what the Most High Yah has instructed us to do within the body of the Mashiach and function with humility 
and with gratefulness that he has not consumed us. You know, when we were sinning, when we weren't even thinking about, you know, living for the Most High Yah, he could have taken us out right then and there and consumed us. But because of his mercy and because of his long suffering and because of his patience toward us, we're, we are still here and we need to be grateful. So we need to make sure that we separate ourselves, okay, from that those type of people and that type of mentality and that type of behavior. Separate ourselves from them and make sure that we are living our lives in such a way that we are set apart unto Yahuwah. So, Take the time out, read through this passage of scripture again, pray about it, meditate on it, and ask the spirit of the Most High Yah to show you what you need to change, adjust, you know, and renew your mind in and obey from this passage of scripture today. Have an awesome Shabbat, get some rest, Spend some time in the presence of the Most High Yah. Get some quality time in prayer and praise and worship. Spend some quality time with your family, you know, and just get rejuvenated for the upcoming week, Yah willing. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight O Yahuwah my strength and my redeemer let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight O Yahuwah my strength and my redeemer, my strength and my redeemer, my strength and my redeemer. Shabbat Shalom, everyone.